you interested in identifying the true root cause behind your inefficient processes? In this video, we're going to show how you can discover the root cause of inefficient processes and act on insights with UiPath Continuous Discovery Tools. Our first step is to take a look at our Incident Management Process Mining app, where ServiceNow system data has been loaded and transformed and is now ready for analysis. Here, we can see the process that incidents follow from creation through closure and how long each step in the process takes. What we're really interested in is which incident types are driving up throughput times. So we're gonna add a filter to only look at the incidents that took over six days to close. Now, instead of just looking at the number of times a particular incident type is happening when throughput time is over six days, we want to find the true root cause. So we're gonna hop over to the root cause analysis dashboard and see which incident types are driving up these high throughput times. Let's check the box only to show significant influencers and drag the note slider to show only our top three. It looks like hardware incident type is our most significant influencer, followed closely by access management and application. What this means is that these three incident types have the most impact on driving up those throughput times over six days. We now know exactly where to focus our improvement efforts, but how do we act on this information? Let's use communications mining to get more context into the conversations around these incident types to understand what needs to be done. Since communications mining uses machine learning to analyze service conversations, we can dig into the context of those significant influencers discovered through process mining and have the full understanding to make process improvements and automate transactional requests. Our incident management ticket data has been labeled and our model is in a good state for analysis. On the reports dashboard, we have all the labels in our data set. You'll notice that these labels match up to the incident types we saw in process mining. Since we already know which labels are our significant influencers and driving up throughput times, let's dig deeper into the conversation data around those labels, starting with hardware. Filtering by the hardware label, we can now start to understand the full context of this incident type. Since we want to focus on quick wins, let's add a filter for number of messages with a maximum value of two, meaning there was one message in and then one message out to resolve the issue. This indicates that the resolution was straightforward versus high volume threads, which indicate higher complexity. By scrolling to our top 10 highest volume leaf labels, we can understand which subcategories of labels for specific resolutions are high impact, high volume, and low complexity. These are perfect candidates for self-help documentation. We can now download this chart and share this list with the knowledge base team to prioritize these topics. Let's now add a chart to our dashboard by going to trends. Here we can see the label volume trend chart with the number of times each hardware label per two volume thread occurs. Let's add this chart to our dashboard so that we can track the success of this initiative after the self-help documentation is published. That's just one example of the type of insight that UiPath continuous discovery tools like process mining and communications mining can give you into your complex processes. 